Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be creating a shot power bar that we can see whenever we're shooting. Uh, we can see uh, how much power we're going to be giving the shot. So let's dive right into it. Uh, to get started, first take your starter character and put it in the workspace because we're going to need to uh, see them for this. Um, okay. So open up the starter character, go to the humanoid root part and we're gonna add first an attachment and position it to be i don't know like here well i'm going to rename it shot bar attachment gonna make the transparency of it can you make the transparency different for the attachment oh visible okay i think i think it'll become invisible uh let's see uh so we need we need a billboard GUI and in that GUI we need a frame and we need to set this frame the anchor point of it we need to set to 0 0.5 0 0.5 position 0 5 0.5 size all right and then we need to well first let's add a UI corner and let's add a stroke let's take the stroke out now let's duplicate this frame put it inside the other call it fill bg for background change the background color uh we'll do do black and fill we want to do green and so now what we will be adjusting is the size of this x right here see if we put it at 0.5 uh we need to do it different because we need to make the anchor point we need to make the anchor point be zero and we need to make the position of it zero on the x there we go so it's a humanoid root part shot attachment um, billboard gui we're gonna disable it all right we can drag our starter character back into the starter player folder go to our shooting handler and so we need to say shot bar fill but we just need to say shot bar enabled equals true let's come up here and let's add in a shot bar and that's going to equal the player character wait for child humanoid root part wait for child what was it it's humanoid root part wait for child shot bar attachment billboard gui and so now we can just say shot bar enabled equals true and then when we shoot the ball, and uh, hang on, when do we want to set it to false? I think right here we'll say shot bar enabled equals false. But here we will say we need to also get the shot bar fill. So we'll say local shot bar fill equals shot bar wait for child. I think it's BG wait for child fill. And so down here, we will say shop bar fill dot size equals udim2 new shot timer. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Let's test it out. Beautiful. Uh, well, yep, yeah, that's working. So that concludes this video. I will see you guys in the next one.